college football Thursday on a snowy night in Provo, Utah. A huge program game for 7-1 Boise State of the WAC against the old king of the WAC, 4-5 BYU. With Dr. Jerry Punch, who's the guy who gets the short end of the straw tonight down on the field. Lee Corso, Kirk Herb Street up in the booth. Mike Tirico, glad you are here for this game. BYU will kick it off. Boise State in white to receive. Give us a headline, guys, before we kick it off here. That's Eve, the kickoff from Matt Payne, and off we go in the snow on College Football Thursday. Far from one yard out. Has a nice crease and has some room to run across the 30. BYU players have the angle on him and push him out of bounds. A nice 40-yard return. The heaviest snow of the uh, late afternoon and evening now falling as Matt Payne, a very good kicker here in the Mountain West, sets to boot it away. There's a high snap there. Payne pulls down and is blocked, and Boise State put guess touchdown. It was very close to the end line. Chris Carr with the block. Boise recovers for the touchdown. The bad snap leads to Cam Hall with the score. Six nothing. Boise State. For this Matt Payne kick, perfect snap. Payne able to get it away. Not exactly easy to see it either. Gilligan takes it on the bounce at the 27 and gets up the field. And they're, they're bringing a lot of people up in these running situations. Third and four. Dinwiddie has time to throw. He looks deep for Gilligan. Inbounds and caught at the 22. First down. He did it in front of Chad Barney. Look at this. They break the huddle and bring out a uh, different quarterback as well. It's Jared Zabransky, a better runner. And Zabransky moves to the five and pulls to the two-yard line. So the freshman out of Hermiston, Oregon, comes in. They came out of the huddle with Dinwiddie. He knows what to do with the football in his hands. First and goal. Michael up the middle. Touchdown, Boise State. <laughs> Toby Christensen. Oh, high snap over his head. Out of the end zone, safety. That would have been the best thing that could have happened for BYU snap. But it happens here, and they gain some momentum back. It's now 14 to 2. In four possessions. Picking up their first couple of first downs in the night. BYU is stopped. John Denny's good snap. Try to pin. Boise State inside the 10, but Gilligan got the hop right to him, and has a lot of room. Nice jump by Gilligan on the run. The kicker had to push him out. Play pass for Barry. Watch it all. Downfield for Chris Hale. Underthrown and intercepted by Julius Brown. The senior out of Stockton, California, gets his second pick of the season. This, this, could, this would be a great clinic film of how to play the fade by Julius Brown because he's going to get in position here. He's going to watch the receiver's eyes, and as soon as the eyes are going to see... I've got to protect. To protect, they can beat this man covered. In winning. Got to get rid of it, and incomplete. He looked downfield for a second and then sensed the rush from behind him. He's taught uh, walking to games when he was working with us over the years. Barry's throw is intercepted by Wes Nurse. Third interception for Nurse on the season. Second one thrown in 17 plays tonight by Barry. Did he guess? Beep, 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 beep. Beep it up. Second and ten. Barry stands tall. Third interception. Second one in a row for Nurse. Nurse on the run. To the five. Touchdown. This compliment for a guy named Bob Foster. First down, Dinwiddie rolls right, throws across the field to the 36-yard line once again. The first down is picked up. Penalty marker is down as well. The snow to help put Boise State up 19. Another pass on Mark Anaboki. On Tuesday and Thursdays, so he's able to do that extra film study and keep up with his schoolwork. 
did what he's thrown at Gilligan. Tim takes it upfield. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Great slide to the end zone. Touchdown. That's a football player there. That's a great nose for what's going on. 28-yard touchdown. Uh, so it's nicer when we get to call you out on that. Third and a couple for Beck. Kept the play alive, took a huge shot. It was completed to the 30-yard line for a first down. Jason Kukahiko comes up with the grab. Even if it's across the middle and a little hook pass. Coach is on the right side. Christensen left. Gary runs. He has the first down and protects it as he gets over the 33-yard line. Being together, number 20. Throw the ball, number 20. Fourth and three, Barry stays in. It's deflected and incomplete. First car coming in. The junior has stepped up this year for him. A high snap over the head of Stringer. In trouble. He scoops it. Tackled in the end zone. A second safety. I don't think I've ever seen 28 to 4 in a football game. I don't think I've ever seen the number four up on the board. Ever. 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 In the history of the game. It's like those, uh, you know, old Big Ten turn of the century, you know, six, four. That was Ray was getting yeah. after. Look at that. Can they be better than them? Well, yeah, yeah but. From the 48, Morton's throw is oh. in oh. intercepted. And it's the only time you are ever disappointed when you come up with an interception. Gabe Franklin had more grass to run in front of than any player ever. And he slid down. Did it push ticket, ticket sales up? No. <laughs> Second and ten. Mortensen. Half complete for a first down. Here they come. It's just hit the field. A lot of names out there. Give it another week or two until it starts to... I think we can go to that question in a couple weeks. Mortensen throws complete at the 35. Looking for its first touchdown of the night. Bakapuna up and over the top. Touchdown Cougars. In the national championship mix, we're not having it in the current system. Todd Mortensen throws for two. Wide open, Christensen. Conversion is good. The officials work together to make sure. I'll take Bowling Green right now as a top 15 team without any question. Dinwiddie, first down toss, is complete to Gilligan. Tim Gilligan down the sideline, has a block, has the speed. Tim Gilligan, 20, 10, out of bounds. At the five. Well, there goes the momentum, BYU. <laughs> 68 yards later, the senior out of Elko, Nevada. Team average over 22 yards a catch. He's a backward pass to Gilligan, who fights for the goal line. Oh. Touchdown! Great play! <laughs> Gilligan's first rushing touchdown of the year. Ways he goes for two, and why? not give it all to Gilligan he was up against it last year health wise he will stay healthy this year look at him run this is David Michael from Sacramento down to the 15 a pickup after the Aaron Francisco tackle of 44 yards Michael out Donnie Heck in to the two for LDS members. It's a very important game for the Idaho folks who are LDS. As Dinwiddie runs in his eighth touchdown of the season. Just explore the antitrust issues around the BCS. Dinwiddie throws down the middle. It's caught by Gilligan. Left on the punt return with a cramp. Comes back, gets it out to the 34-yard line. Here we go. We're bringing it home here. Third and four. Did what he will throw. Oh, no. And he puts it up for hey. Gray to Gilligan. Out to the 36-yard line. Did what he back A pickup of 24 yards. Three 
matchups of teams in the top 50. Dinwiddie, a second down throw to Gilligan. <laughs> and a flag is thrown on Kit Nielsen of BYU for pushing Gilligan as he ran through the end zone with point 49. Well, well, they were running the ball. I don't right? have an answer. Now. Thank you very much. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Please Please answer answer answer. Answer. They will move to eight and one with the victory. The game's final play is a throw by Jackson Brown incomplete. And that, mercifully, is it. Final score, Boise State 50, BYU 12. Coming up next, Sports Center, ESPN News, with continuing coverage. Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstie, Jerry Punch, Mike Tirico. Thank you for watching this presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more college football information, log on to ESPN.com. Keyword, college football. Thanks to our crew, we'll handle the snow. Good night from Provo, and off we go to Sports Center.